Oh, I've got to do, I've got to do the, uh, the thumb now. Okay, so. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Khan. Sodium, or also known as Schmucker's Goober, apparently, according to this jar, okay? We're gonna pass it around, okay? I want you to try and think, why is it stored in something that's very, very oily? All right, oh, we've got some hands up. Dissolves in water. It's reactive in the air. Reactive in the air. The oil restricts it, reacting with oxygen. Oil restricts it, reacting with oxygen. Uh, so it's uh, the oxygen uh, will corrode the sodium. That's Corrosion. The first thing. Plus, there's water in the air, and we're going to see that why that's not. Ah, right. Well, the good news is that all of you are correct. Okay, it's to protect. Um, there is a slight layer on there. It doesn't look like your regular metal. It doesn't look lustrous, shiny. So what are we making? An observation. Observations. And the observations are what you can? See. See. Not what you think. Not what you think. Okay. It's a metal. It's an element. What's an element? Pure substance. A pure substance? A type of atom. A type of atom? One type of atom, thank you very much. So a collection of one type of atoms, okay? All right, so. But clearly there's something on here. So it doesn't look like your regular metal. It doesn't. It looks like brie. You like cheese, I like cheese. So you've got something in common. You both like cheese? I love cheese. We both got something in common. I love cheese. So I need to, I need to prove to you that it is a metal, correct? Yes? Yes, because we, we are we're scientists and we, we want to scrutinize. We want to uh, figure yes. out what's going on. If you got around the thing, wouldn't it explode? I can't hear you, come close. If it got out of the water, wouldn't it explode? If it got out, would it explode? There's always, no matter what happens, when I teach, there's always a person that, tell, that asks me, what if this happens? But here it is. Is it exploding? No, it's not exploding, okay? It's not exploding. In fact, there's a lot of, there's a lot of videos out there that uh, say, oh, you know, these metals, they're explosive and everything like that. Okay, you have to be, you have to be a bit skeptical. Skeptical, right? Sodium is the one that we're looking at for today. I will show you ones in its family that may behave slightly differently. Okay, but they all seem to behave in a similar way. All seem to behave in a similar. Way. Okay, but more on that later. But first of all, let's find, let's find out a little bit about its physical properties. Okay, so I'll just show you the camera and then I'll come around and show you. Okay, here we go. So now it kind of looks like a, a sugar cube. Okay. And uh, the great thing about it is. Okay, now I'm going to come around. What do you notice about what I've done and how unusual it is compared to? What you normally associate with metals, it's soft. We don't usually associate metals as being soft, okay? And as you, as you figured out, this is a very, very kind of like cheesy kind of nature, okay? Now I'm gonna be careful and make sure that no one goes on the camera. I'm going to invite someone over to have a look. Just have a look. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna slice it like cheese, okay? But you have to be quick. You have to be quick. Right, okay, I'm gonna slice it again. And I want you to tell me what you notice about the inside. Shiny. It's shiny, okay? 
So we do have a little bit of shine, okay? There is a little bit of shine. But Jonathan, come here again, have a look again. No, you can't hold it. Do you see any more shine? No. no. So there's something mysterious. So I'm going to cut it again, and I'm going to show you again, right? Can you see a shine? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what, what happens is the shininess, after a, about 10, 20 seconds, goes away. What do you think is happening based on what you've heard already so far? Yes. It reacts with something in air. There, there's, there, there's maybe one thing in air, maybe two things in air that it might react with, okay? We'll talk about what, what it reacts with in a while, but these are physical properties, okay? Physical properties are it's soft, it's shiny, but seemingly a chemical property is, is very, very fast in its reaction. It corrodes. Corrosion means that it loses its uh, shininess. Something in the air. Something in the air. Right, okay, so... I'm going to cut a cube of this, okay? I'm going to cut a cube of this, and I want you to verify that this is a cube. So, Jonathan, you can come back and verify that this is a cube. It is a cube. It is a cube. Go get your goggles, because I need you to watch this very carefully, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in some water, okay? When he puts it in, he's going to make an observation, okay? He is going to tell us what the shape of the three-dimensional thing is that he sees, okay? So it could be a prism, it could be a sphere, it could be a cuboid, it could be a cube still. We're going to figure out. Yes? Mallet, what do you think it could be from your reading? A circle. Now a circle is a flat shape. A sphere. Yeah. All right, let's see if you try. Right, run away. What can you hear? Physics. Physics. Is it floating or is it sinking? Floating. Floating. What's the shape of the sodium? Spherical. Spherical. Must have noticed the electrons. Yeah, there's no explosion. Why? Sodium doesn't react um, violently enough to cause an explosion. What if it was exploded? But it is definitely reactive. Now, Elise, what do metals do when they're in a circuit? Are they on it? Conducts electricity. Right, so I've got a little light bulb here. I'll complete the circuit. Can you all see the light flashing? If you can't, you need to stand up and have a look. Okay? Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect one end to the sodium sample that I have left over here. And I'm going to connect the other end. Now, the theory goes that if this is a metal, I will conduct yes. electricity, okay? Now, I'm going to allow you to, to walk as I start packing these things away. Now, that's a really, really good way of uh, showing that you have a metal, okay? It's definitely, definitely conducting. But come round, come round, okay? All right. Mr. Can I look at that? Can you walk? Can I go under the camera? No, no, you can't. Why? You need your own channel. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking, like, if something is revolving, like, human contact. If you put your finger in it, your muscles will dissolve in the strong alkali. That is insane. I think this might be dangerous for some reason. It's incredibly dangerous for you. That's why only trained professionals can do it. Nice. And what am I? A trained professional. I'm a professional. So I've now added some universal indicator paper to the liquid. Bye-bye. <laughs>
and you can actually see that it is around about pH 12 actually, pH 12, and that indicates a strong alkali has formed, and that's sodium hydroxide.